And so were you embracing those pedagogical ideas yourself? Yeah, I was. Not after my PhD, but during my PhD, I would say. In my defense, I think that many of us who eventually have found our way to the science of learning have gone through a period of more constructivist ideals. We have been sold various stories, so to speak. And since I was trained in the 90s, I had fully embraced what was then this prevailing narrative. I never thought of asking for evidence to my professors. After all, these were professors at the Faculty of Education presenting their ideas. I thought that they knew what was going on and who was I to question them. But in my case, when I started to work as an art teacher, I soon began to doubt at least the idea of general skills, that general skills were more important than core knowledge. So there was always something unsettling about this rhetoric that in the future we can find everything on the internet so we don't need to bore ourselves with basic knowledge. But still at that point I held this notion of the teacher as a guide on the side, someone who facilitates rather than explicitly instruct. And this rhetoric was upheld both by what I would call these ed tech snake oil salesmen eager to promote their own products, but also by some educational academics in the field of IT and learning, or ICT and learning, we called it back in the days. But in my observations, in my own research, it became quite clear that most of these claims couldn't be true, at least not on a general level. The children were exploring games and virtual worlds, and they did not behave like these little researchers investigating the game's content. 